A few months ago, I made a video about Army 3D and honestly, I don't even remember why. The video was quite confusing, really, and there was some false information, and after watching it again, I realised that I had no idea what the hell I was trying to say. So here I go, starting again with some improved ideas. Okay, so in the world of Blender game engines, two tools exist. UPBG, which is an offshoot of the Blender game engine, and Army 3D. On my channel, I have many tutorials about Arm 3D, but UPBG is also looking really cool, especially with the new updates. It's looking like a AAA game engine. So why do I use Arm 3D over UPBG? -E? Well, I asked that in the Arm 3D Discord and got some interesting answers that I mostly agree with. First of all, a lot of issues related to Arm 3D are now outdated. For example, Arm 3D's documentation is way too limited and a lack of transparency with new features and updates and, well, a disregard from the developer who doesn't seem to be interested in the project anymore. All of this is either wrong or has been fixed. The documentation has always been updated and if people have questions or want advice then the community is more than happy to help, myself included. There are examples and templates for almost every single aspect and feature of Arm 3D they can be viewed directly on the main website for Armour 3D and uh, the new release notes section is right next to it and that allows you to see all the different new updates that happen in each new version and it also credits all the different community developers that helped make these possible. And as for the developer, he isn't working on it as much as he would want to but that doesn't mean that it's dead as if you look at the release notes like I said you'll see a bunch of people who are more than happy to spend their own time helping develop Army 3 d this amazing free tool. So let's take a second to salute all these incredible people. On the other hand, I asked why Army 3 d users don't use UPBGE, and that's when we get into the side picking part of the video. UPBGE is a hugely popular game engine with a large community and a powerful game engine actually, that most say can do everything Army can do but better. They have some incredible logic node options, they have many tutorials and as I say they have a huge community as well as a great render pipeline that can produce incredible AAA game visuals so it sounds great on paper, yeah but every game engine has pros and cons. In my previous video I explained my choice of game engine based on the export options so this time I'm not going to do the same thing, I'm going to try and explain my choice a little better. UPBG is built on top of the Blender game engine and as such also inherited the same issues. The reason UPBG was cut was because of unsustainable development and it was built with the high level programming language Python, whereas most game engines on the market or anywhere aren't built with Python, they're built with something like a C language which is a more compilable language. Now obviously the community around uh, Blender game engine and UPBG now have been working on this for a long time but I'm guaranteeing you that a game made with UPBGE will not run as fast as a game made in C. But then again I don't know anything about game development software or how to code much stuff other than moving a cube so don't take my word on that I'm just speculating. But one of the primary reasons I didn't learn UPBGE was that even if I wanted to use it the amount of time I needed to spend looking into tutorials and learning the interface and figuring out how to do just the most basic things. I could have just installed Unreal Engine and actually learnt more or since I had a low end PC I probably would have used Unity with a visual scripting option like Bolt or Playmaker because at least the time I spend in those game engines will allow me to make any type of game for any platform and any style. And that's why I use Armour 3D, because it includes all the tools to make any sort of game as an add-on. So this makes it super easy to learn because you don't have this completely alienated interface that you have no idea what's going on, because it's built on top of Blender. Now you might think UBBG is also built on top of Blender. Yes, but no, it was built on top of Blender, so the back-end part was Blender but the interface and everything that you would expect to see in the Blender program is completely jumbled around and it's it's a brand new program it's not something you're gonna download and say oh, I'm gonna start making a game in this because you have to learn so many new things just to understand where everything goes and why it's a brand new software. Armour 3D on the other hand is super amazing because it doesn't include all that difficulty of going through the phase of learning and being familiar with the software, having a feel of it. Because you probably already know and have experience using Blender. 
so there's not that added level of difficulty of learning a brand new environment because it's the same environment you're used to. That is the main tipping point that made me switch or more like stay with Armour 3D. And yes, you don't have many examples of super high quality games because Armour 3D hasn't been the most stable. But like I said, it is incredibly stable now. I don't remember the t last time it, I ever had an issue with Armour 3D. And thus, I decided I'm going to start pushing Armour 3D to the limits and try and make some content like you would be seeing on AAA game engines or UPBGE. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing some higher level end graphics than what I'm used to making.